Crypto Dragons with the Stone Slammer are very powerful. When you want to learn how you can use your Stone Slammer for funneling or just power in the core, then stay tuned. Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next Electro Dragon video. I am Leo from VA Esports and I will show you today how you can use Electro Dragons with the Stone Slammer in your Legend League attacks. First, we will start with this ring base. I'm playing the slammer here very early for this air defense at 6 o'clock. Then I can spam in from 7 to 8 o'clock with the Electro Dragons and playing at 9 o'clock your own queen for the funneling the other side. Now you see the balloons are tanking perfectly for the Electro Dragons in the beginning of the attack. Now the first rage spell to support my Electro Dragons in the push to the core. Now I can use a perfect warn ability soon for the core of this base so that I can protect as much Electro Dragons as possible. And now you see my Electro Dragons going towards the core of the space, raging them up again and yeah, freezing the stuff here or making just invisible so that it's sure that my Electro Dragons gets the whole core of this base. At the same time you saw I'm popping my queen on the outside and playing my king and royal champion just to clear out the back end of the space. But you see the Electro Dragon chains in the core were just too insane so the space has like no chance to defend. All Electro Dragons died but this is not an issue because you have your heroes in the back end of the base to finish it with the spells. You see I have king ability now to use with the war break to make some cleanup. I can use the raid spells for my royal champion and the royal champion with the abilities will clutch the back end of this base. We will also have examples where the Electro Dragon survives in the back end but um, yeah it's not on every base and like I already said you don't need it because your heroes are so strong. Look at the royal champion together with the fox and the spells in the back end. You can use the fox invisibility then the freeze and turn it back royal champion shield to finish the space and this is the first 3 star for me. So let's continue with the next base we will have again a ring base I guess Electro Dragons on ring base seems to be easy, but you have to take care about little, yeah, some details. Here again, I can play the slammer early at 3 o'clock for the air defense, because after the air defense, there isn't much air damage, and my slammer can funnel perfectly at 3 o'clock, funneling out the wizard tower, so the pathing for my Electro Dragons towards the core is really perfect. Funneling the other side as well with the queen, now freezing the sweeper so your Electro Dragons don't gets pushed back and now the warn ability with two rage spells and now it's important to freeze the sweeper again so that it's no issue to get the maximum value with the electric dragons in the core of the base and the double rage. You see now the chains over the tunnel, eagle is going down, the top of the base is going down as well and the bottom as well. I triggered the back end rage tower as well and you see the electric dragons still alive and clearing those defenses here in the back end making my, my electric dragon invisible not perfectly, otherwise the chain over the ricochet cannon would have been <laughs> much more insane. But you see, this is already clutched here. With all heroes still alive, I'm placing my Royal Champion at 1 o'clock to clear the back end ground bow, scatter shot and king. So um, yeah, I guess that's a complete overkill. So um, yeah, don't have to tell much about it. The slam at 3 o'clock to funnel this side, queen to funnel the other side, and then you have a perfect pathing and you can focus on your spells and vulnerability for your Electro Dragons. So now let's have a look at a different style of base. This is a diamond base, built by Tribe Gaming, so I guess most probably Sir Iron or Stefan. Yeah, on this base it was kinda obvious for me to spam right into the tunnel because there's a lot of damage here with the monolith and the Invis Tower and I can make kind of a funnel for my Electro Dragons so that they will clear after the tunnel a bit of the core as well. So here the slammer at the top side to clear out the wizard tower and the funnel at this side as well. And now I have a bit of weird pathing because of the inverse tower but it doesn't matter much because I now have a nice split of the Electro Dragons. So like 50% of the Electro Dragons goes towards the tunnel. The other yeah, half like 3 or 4 Electro Dragons are going into the core. You see them at like 7 o'clock. I can rage them up and freeze the core so that they can get yeah, some nice chains here in the core for them. You see now over the multi archer tower. And um, yeah, so it looks pretty nice here. The chains you see <laughs> scattershot in the core is going down. Ricochet can is going down as well. I can rage up this electric dragon here in the core as well. 
and you see now I have also my heroes in the back end and like the electric drinks got the whole base already you see this chains I got the whole base with the core I could have spec like two heroes to be honest so it's really insane when you know how to use a slammer at funnel here at this side and now yeah you could have split your electric so um all fine on this base and now we'll have a new style a uh, box base which you already saw in the beginning of this video here it was important for me to funnel as well with the slammer i saw there's a tesla so i just investing my slam at this side to get the whole tesla farm in front of the town hall so that i have a nice pathing for my electric dragons from five o'clock the queen at three o'clock as well to funnel the other side and now the early one ability to catch all electro dragons in it freezing again the sweeper so that your electro dragons yeah don't get pushed away from the core of the base freezing again the monolith because monolith is making very much damage on your electro dragons freezing it again so that the electro dragons in the core survives and can clear the uh, yeah multi archer towers multi inferno towers monolith and that stuff and now it's important for me that those yeah, two or three electric ranks near the town hall will get the town hall so that I can place my road champion as well from the top side or just I don't have to use my road champion for the town hall. You see it now, my king is walking on the outside. I can send my road champion straight behind my queen so that yeah, it is sure that my queen could survive here the crumple and against this double cannon. And now the king is tanking as well here at the outside of the base. Unfortunately, my queen is dying. But I guess with the Royal Champion and the Fox in the back end, I can use ability and it should be a triple as well here. Because the chains were too yeah, insane for me in the core of the base. Now, yeah, it's kind of a bit close because, like I said, my queen died. But the approach will work every time, I guess. So now let's come back to a ring base. But this is a very interesting ring base with like dead zones completely around it and um, yeah you have to think about how can you create a nice funnel and for me this yeah, idea was about using the slam for one side and the rage electric dragon for the other side why didn't i use two electric dragons well um, then i'd only have two rages for your main electric dragon push and this would be a bit less when you go against this kind of core but now you see the slam at the six o'clock side funnel perfectly my queen at the other side so yeah the funnel is set here very nice for me and now I can place my Elect Dragons with the Warden and the a bit delayed Balloons for the core. You can delay one or two Balloons so that you will catch them in the Warden ability and they will trigger like Red Air Mines or Seeking Air Mines in the core. Unfortunately, um, yeah, they, the Balloons were a bit too early so I couldn't catch them in the Warden ability like I said. But if this works, it's really insane. And now you can use the Rage and Free Spells and you see this chains again in the core. They are just insane. Getting both scatter shots, I guess. And yeah, like back end fat cannons. And the heroes at the outside, they don't have really damage because the whole damage is stuck in the core of the base. So I can place my road champion from the bottom. Yeah, just because of time, that well, would take us faster because when you look at the power, um, it's completely enough for the space. And um, yeah, I can't really throw it because I have all heroes of life electric dragons in the core as well. One free spell for the back end, but um, yeah, you see, the space is crushed. Slammer at 6 o'clock. Slammer for funnel in general is insane when you see the spots for it. Now we will have another example for it. At this box base, I play a slammer directly towards the air defense. Because at this side, yeah, I get the air defense. I have like 5 loons and a dragon rider in the slammer. So they will take out the stuff in front of the tornado as well without using any spell. And this is a really nice trade for you as Electro Dragon Attacker. Now Queen funneling the other side, you know how to do it. And now the double rage with the warner ability and you know it, freezing the sweeper so that yeah, your Electro Dragons don't get pushed away from the core of the base. I'm freezing as well the monolith and the scatter shot because they are doing a lot of damage on your electric ranks, raging up again the core which is really stuck here but um, I guess with the electric ring chains it should be good to go you see also the chains over the eagle artillery to get stuff from the core the tunnel should go down as well here very soon and um, yeah now it comes up to the back end the last electric ring chain in the core was <laughs> yeah, pretty clutch for me and um, yeah, now I can play my Royal Champion where I want to because yeah, I have still King ability to use now. 
royal champion here just yeah to send right behind my king to get the ground and the ricochet can in the back end as well and you see nothing to hold on this attack my royal champion will get the ricochet cannon in the back end the king isn't any problem because all defenses are gone now and um, yeah i can just clean up the space so now we will have a look at yeah another box space where i can play yeah a kind of different approach because yeah slammer again for one side but i'm spamming just right into the tunnel why do i spam into the tunnel at this space well i can take out both air defenses at 12 and 3 o'clock so no damage from the outside from air defenses and i get a nice value from yeah the stuff which is behind the tunnel with like four airbows clan castle the eagle as well and the chains in the core are pretty nice so now the vulnerability with the balloons to catch in the healing tome very important so that your elect dragons yeah get yeah get more hp again the rage on the elect ring at three o'clock to get the funnel here done and now the elect rings in the core with the freeze to save the life of them and now look just look at the change the ground balls all go down the fat cannons the ricochet cannons as well and now you see yeah what what should defend the space i have like all heroes here still to place my queen on the outside at like five o'clock to get some yeah defense stuff here with the scatter shot and the enemy queen soon as well my king from the outside to war break into the back end monolith and yeah like i already said queen with ability and the hero puppet should get scatter shot enemy heroes as well and um yeah still my Royal champion from the outside to support my king and to use the back end spells i did didn't uh, yeah need or used for my elect dragons and you see king with giant gauntlet carrying yeah and managing to kill the monolith now i found the tornado trap it's not a real issue i have still my royal champion shield and now you see only the scatter shot here is real defense and um, yeah enough time you have like almost in your elect dragon attacks and this is the next triple here on this box space with a kind of different approach spamming into the tunnel but it works very often we will have now again a box space but don't spam it to the tunnel at this one please because you have a sweeper against it and this is not really nice because on this space you just do the side entry you don't have any sweeper against it you can do an early double rage with the warren ability to catch all those balloons in and now look what the balloons are triggering in the core like all the red air mines the seeking air mines and it's nothing to hold on this attack raging up the electric dragons in the core some electric dragons will go towards the tunnel the sweepers are going down in the core and um yeah you just have to see tunnel is going down eagle is going down unfortunately no electric dragon is in the core at the moment but it would be pretty nice to get the clan castle and the monolith as well and um yeah like i wished both is going down and now just the heroes for the back ends scatter shot compartments here the rage is already triggered so less damage for my heroes in the back end there with the ground bows get a shot and multi arch show and the fat cannon in the back end as well now i'm funneling my king so that my king will go back and helping to yeah tank for my queen and royal champion here at this side and the giant gauntlet will kill the ground bow as well maybe yeah it is raging up my electric my uh royal champion sorry and using ability and you see now it's pretty clutch here for my royal champion queen still with her ability and the healing tome i can use when i want to and um, yeah no chance that this base can defend again just the side approach because the sweepers aren't against it you don't have to freeze the sweepers and the pathing is pretty nice and i, I guess i didn't mention but the slam at 12 o'clock again to funnel at this base i will do like the same thing slammer at the top side to funnel the early fans and to go straight towards the ground bow to funnel as well the ground bow at this base so the funnel in the second row is good as well unfortunately i already found a seeking air mine but it's no issue because i have a dragon rider and five balloons in the slammer so the funnel should be perfect as well on this one queen again at three o'clock to yeah funnel the other air defense and to clear the funnel of the other side and now just focus on the sweepers 
you see no sweeper against this entry so perfect here for me i can focus on my rage spells and the three spells on the core of this base now both rage towers trigger in the core so i really have to be careful about my election dragons that they will get all those stuff so making sure to use my invasive in the core to save my electric dragon from all the damage raging them up again to get the chains from the town hall away towards the top of the space with the scatter shots this works very good here for me and um, yeah you see my one as well in rage clearing the multi inferno tower and um, this is the best value i could have gotten yeah could have got with my electric ranks to be honest because now both rage towers are away and I have the spells for my heroes to place in the back end. Still my royal champion to place with like one rage and two free spells. And um, I guess it should be enough together with the giant gauntlet. The base is yeah, stuck with open walls I guess. So I don't need more wall breakers in this army. One wall breaker is enough mostly. So you don't need more. Now royal champion sending into the core founding <laughs> unfortunately two ground skeleton traps. But I guess it's no issue because now I can use my king ability to tank for my other heroes. King will clear now the back end stuff here, the trash here as well. Tank for the enemy king, raging up those stuff with the royal champion. I can have two freezes to use here just when I want to. And yeah, you see no chance that this can defend. The healers are swapping towards the royal champion. Nice effect when you use healer puppet. But um, yeah, normally you don't need it to. But it works very good on these bases. Now again on the box base, but I decided, but better to say, I thought about playing a flame flinger, but the flame flinger wouldn't have got a nice value, so just a slammer to be a bit faster, and so the slammer here at six o'clock, I guess, to yeah take down the air defense if necessary, because otherwise the air defense will be skipped. But no, I decided not to do it because one Elect Dragon is going down towards 6 o'clock and I should get this air defense and just the slammer to send in the core to get more power in the core with the slammer tanking for the Elect Dragons and um, yeah, to take down the monolith, the scatter shot in the core and all that stuff. Should be good to go because now I can use the next spells here with the rage spell to get the fat cans behind the tunnel, the air heroes. And you see all those chains over the core. Monolith is going down. Eagle is going down as well. The Electric Dragons pushing through the base towards the scatter shot, raging them up. And you see this value, this chains. It looks so easy, and it isn't that difficult to play, to be honest. So I guess all of you could play these kind of attacks when you just focus on your entry, which is important when to use your slam or four funnel, or to use, for example, a blimp. So you can check out as well another video where I, yeah explained where to use your blimp and when the blimp is yeah insane to use for your electric dragons and um, yeah then focus on your f on your spells with the free spells and the rage spells for your electric dragons and then you don't have any problem on any type of base with electric dragons now last but not least we will have again a box base with the side entry slammer as well at the top side to funnel out the air defense queen sending in towards the tunnel maybe she will walk in maybe she don't walk in it doesn't matter that much to be honest because they have like 80 leg rings and full spells i guess they should clear the tunnel as well so using now the queen ability so i get the healers to yeah heal the queen up again raging my queen up so that she will get the king and the tunnel as well here and now you see my electric dragons will split perfectly in the core. I can freeze eagle and monolith together, raging them up. So now look at the chains. The complete core is going down with the electric dragons. All the electric dragons, yeah, pushing towards the back and signal for the tower going down as well. I've still run rage and invis to use here to get through the back and scatter shot and enemy queen. Investing this on my electric dragon here. Now look at the chain. Scatter shot is going down. Multi Archer Tower is pretty low. I can still place my Royal Champion here where I want to, just for time to be honest, because the power is pretty clutch. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope I could help you with this video and see you again.